got 500 subscribers. Um, so to celebrate, I'm gonna. I have two shirts. I got one in brown, like what I'm wearing, and then one in gray. So if you want a large, because they're in size large. If you want a large, uh, go ahead and put down you want a shirt and I'll pick two random people and I'll send you a shirt free and uh, you know it's kind of cool we reached 500 uh, 500 subscribers so you know it's kind of what the shirt looks like in the back you know in the front and uh, yeah we that's pretty cool 500 people are following my ass <laughs> yeah life life happens all right so we're gonna finish up this damn door today we are going to tape it off and, you know, tape off all the areas and we're going to give it a good uh, spray paint. I'm going to wipe it down real good and it's time to spray paint it and then I can come back and put all my moldings and everything back on and you'll be ready to go. And then, you know, this door, will, yeah, this door will be ready. So, um, anything else happening i mean it's just been just been kind of crazy off and on but we're you know we're getting by here um hopefully i can get more work done you know it's it's, it's been really really busy so just more of like uh like the overtime and stuff like that so it's been kind of nice to get a little bit of overtime oh i need to get that out of there that's not that's gonna work uh, so it's nice to get a little bit of overtime to help, you know, compensate for, for stuff. So, oh man, that's just looking beautiful. I just need to wipe it down and yeah. So yeah, let me wipe it down and then we'll start taping off everything. All right. I always use this wax and tar remover to prep, you know. For these areas so that would give it all get all that dust and everything away from the oh do i need a wet sand a little bit right there no, i'll be fine ahead and just use the other side here or make sure we get it really just nice and clean all that dust stuff away from it uh, yeah that's gonna be it's gonna look real nice Areas up in here. Yeah, I just want to be able to get this, finish this door up. We're so close, so close. All right, uh, yeah. So now I'm just going to tape off everything. Um, I probably could just shoot over a little bit with the paint, so I'm not going to have to really tape off there. But I'm just going to tape off this end right through here, of course, right through there, and put over my sight pipes. little purple tape that's uh it's made for you know or it doesn't it, it has a little bit of stickiness to it not not a whole lot to where it's going to be overwhelming and overbearing to where where you pull it's going to leave a, a film so i use this little purple tape get down in these grooves So I, I've said it, I've said it before that, you know, I've been looking for like a part-time job to see, you know, to kind of, you know, you make a little extra money here and there to help, you know, for bills and stuff. But 
I really haven't looked for a job in like 20 plus years because I've, I've worked at my same company for 20 years, you know? So it's a little different from like, you know, like when I, when I was, you know, looking for jobs and stuff way back in the day, you know, you'd apply or whatever and then you'd get like a notice that, you know, at least that they, you know, probably selected someone else or something, but they don't seem to do that anymore. They just kind of leave you high and dry, no call back, no nothing. Um, is, is that the new way that things are being done? You know, I mean, I don't know. At least, at least you can just say, oh, we, we filled the position. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, no callbacks or nothing, so I don't know. Very strange. Um, yeah, so uh, I don't know. So uh, I mean, I, is that the way? What What is the proper way to find a job nowadays? You know, uh, most of it's online. Nothing's paper anymore. And I don't want to. You know, when, and when, when I'm doing my resume. Because I've been at the same company for 20 years. I mean, I could go into detail of like the stuff I do, you know, at my work. And I'm probably, the word's overqualified for a, like a part time job, but you think they wouldn't really care that much, you know? So it's just like a, just like part time, but. Um, I wouldn't even be looking for a part time if my, my job just uh, you know if my job just didn't give me a pay cut I would have been fine but that's the way it is I mean and I've been at the company for 20 years so I can't quite retire uh, I'm too young Shut the door to paint. We're going to be plastic and stuff flying around. Huh. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm too young to retire. Uh, I mean, I can retire with my 20 years, but I can't start collecting the money, you know, or anything until like I'm 60 something, 62, 64, or whatever it is. But if I go another 15 more years, I know it sounds like a crazy ass number, 15 more years. But if I go another 15 more years, then I'll be able to retire. Uh, you know, at, I'll be able to retire at uh, 57. And so, and my my pension will be a lot higher. So I'm thinking. Uh, I have to stick with the company, unless I find another just amazing job that pays a lot, lot more, has way better benefits than, you know, then I'm gone. But, till then, you know, I feel kind of like I'm stuck. And I, I don't know, Leo, how do you guys, what do you guys think? <laughs> So anyway, yeah, so still kind of job hunting. Like I said, I just want something a little part-time. Um, I know it's kind of getting in the way of, you know, working on my car. And, uh, and YouTube, I, you know, I'm not monetized. They said at 500, you can get my own monetized, but we'll see. We'll see. And, uh, you know, is there anything you guys want to want me to talk about? I mean, I, we can talk about the economy, stocks, um, you know, 
more car stuff. You know, it, it is a car channel. If you have any questions, you know, on how I do stuff, I try to lay it out as best as I can. So you guys kind of know what I and will know and see what I'm doing. So. Yeah, is there any anything you want to know about me or you know anything like that? Just let me know, and we can talk about it uh, next go around. But and uh, my best friend just had his his surgery. It was a I had like a tumor on his uh, his cheek, whatever. But so he's doing fine. Turned out good for him, I guess. He just had it yesterday, but he sent me a nice little text saying he's okay. Uh, so that, that's good. He'll probably call me in a day or two. Wonder how his, his marathon was Saturday, so I wonder how that went too. But I don't really want to know because he has that YouTube channel. And I'd rather watch it on YouTube and see it that way. Then another one of my friends, <laughs> the flying miner, he's a gold miner, and I just started following his his YouTube. I didn't know he had one, and then he showed me the other day, and I was like, oh shoot. But he likes to pan for gold. So it's kind of interesting. I've always kind of wanted something to do something like that. I just never really got fully into it. It's another thing, finding people that are, um, that like outdoor stuff. Seems to get harder and harder, you know, as I get older, I don't know. Maybe a lot of people just don't want to go hang out with the old guy anymore, even though I'm not that old. <laughs> okay, I think we're all taped up there, we'll be good here, and uh, I just need a little bit up in this area. Just a little bit up in this area and then we'll be good. Alright, so I'm not worried about a little bit of overspray right now because I'm going to sand this all really nice through here. So when I spray it, I'm not, not worried about that. So we'll go ahead and just put a little spray right there. And start working my way this way. I get all the edges first. First coat, you just want kind of tacky. You don't want it wet. Okay. And it is it is hot today, so it says to do three coats in between. Ah, uh, or yeah, or three minutes in between each coat. I don't think we're gonna need that. It is because it's a hundred and. 110 today. So, alright, let's see if I can just get a little bit in the wheel well here. Wheel's kind of in the way, but let's see if we can get some of that. As you can already see, it's already tacking up. Yeah, see, it's already dry. So, I don't think I need three minutes in between at all. Oh! Plugged up. If it does that, you just take it over to the trash can, kind of really just violently shake it as you're holding it down, and it'll come back out. All right, now let's put this on more wet. The second coat.
follow the same kind of the same pattern. Hair or something right there. Let that sit for one more minute. Put in our last coat. Trash man. Then on this third one, we're gonna try and put it on wet again. Keep that wet edge the whole time. So that's where we're gonna leave off today. So I mean, that's all I can really do. I don't wanna mess with anything else until that dries, so. We'll see you next time. And like I said, if you want a shirt, two larges, one brown, one gray, and uh, I'll reach out to you and you can get to me and we'll, I'll send you a free shirt. All right, thanks guys. Like I said, 500 people, that's and pretty here cool. here it is, followers. still, still wet. But, I mean, I'm not too worried if like a speck of dust or something gets on. See that little goober? So, yeah. And it, it, this paint's a little funny it because it looks orange pilly when you get really, really up close. But it flattens out for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, it, not completely, but it does level out a little bit. So... Yep, we'll have that done. That'll be out of the way. And then we can move on towards the back. Uh, one thing I need to fix is the, the deck lid hits my back of my seat rest if the seat rest is all the way back. So I'm going to modify it just a little bit. I'm going to bring it in 
and do a little bit of fiberglass work there just for you know when I open and close the, the deck lid that you know it's not gonna you know rub or anything like that I just you know just a little uh, annoyance I mean it's no big deal I could just move the seat up just a hair but I want the I want the seats level this headrest level and you know I'm, it's just an OCD thing so I'll just I'm gonna fix that later on and uh, yeah so you can kind of see this is nice fresh paint this is the the older you can tell the difference uh, I'm gonna I, I've already decided I, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna wet sand everything one more time and I'm going to get it all nice and smooth and I'm gonna paint it one last I want one one last coat of black on top so because there are little things here and there that I've missed which is no big deal who is dusty so um, I want to level that out and kind of redo that area again you know just fix a few little things but for the most part I fixed everything so because I don't know if you remember but I had a hole in my in my headlight there a little drill hole I fixed up you know these lines are just beautiful they're nice and you know flush before they had big gaps I fixed all these gaps along here so yeah it, it looks way 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 better but uh, there are a few things, like I said, I can see little ripples and stuff that, you know, I, I can fix later on. So, but we can do that after like next winter or whatever, or whenever I, you know, whenever I get around to it. So, but overall way better than what it was. And uh, especially down the spoiler and, and the front looks just really nice. All right, once again, guys, uh, we'll catch you, catch you next time. And like I said, thanks for putting up with me. And it's pretty cool to have 500 subscribers. Let's see if we can get a few more. And give me a comment. Like I said, what do you guys want to talk about? Uh, you know, uh, I, I just can't make it to car shows or anything right now because they're all on Saturdays, and I work Saturdays. So, you know, I like to get this car out of, you know, eventually. So, anyway, we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, so I got the back to do, and then of course I got my side pipe covers that I can start working on also, and finish my interior with the doors and the door door poppers. Okay, I've babbled enough. See you guys next time.